Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, today we are going to create epic parallax slideshow, like this. So let's start it. First create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, and it's called main comp. Now create another composition it's called scene 1. Create one more composition it's called placeholder 1. Now drag your footage into the placeholder 1 composition. Resize your footage according to your composition. Then go to scene 1 composition and bring your placeholder 1 composition into the scene 1 composition. And convert into 3D layer. Then create a new camera, I am using 35mm presets camera. Then create an all layer and convert into 3D layer and also parent your camera with this null layer. Now go to 2 view horizontal view and move placeholder 1 layer Z position little far from the camera. Now search transform effect and apply on placeholder 1 composition layer Increase transform scale according to your composition. Duplicate placeholder 1 comp layer. And move ahead from second placeholder. Now select ellipse tool and create an ellipse like this. Go to mask 1 and add subtract. Here you can see the edge of our circle. So open mask 1 and change mask feather 50%. Now we want to decrease transform scaling. So that it's perfectly merged with our second placeholder layer. Perfect. Now duplicate this placeholder comp one more time. And move ahead a little bit. Decrease transform scaling. So that it's merged with our bottom placeholder comp perfectly. Now duplicate again one more time. And move ahead from the bottom placeholder layer. Again decrease the transform scaling perfectly. So it's merge with bottom placeholder layer. Now go to project window and drag texture image into the timeline. And convert into 3D layer. Change blending mode normal to screen. Move this texture image closer to camera. And turn down the opacity around 30%. And apply curve effect. And make your curve like this. Then duplicate texture image one more time. And move ahead from second texture image. Now we want to animate our camera, so select null layer and hit P for position, and add a keyframe. Then go to three and half second forward and move Z position closer to camera.
Now select our top texture layer and rotate them for little bit variation. Now we want to add some elements, so create new composition and its call elements. Then select text tool and create X looking elements. Go to 5 to 6 frame forward, and trim this layer. Hit T for opacity and add wiggle expression. Wiggle open bracket 3 comma, 40 bracket close. Now duplicate this element layer serve time. Place randomly. I am skipping this part little faster, so that you don't have to wait. And also scale down randomly. After doing all adjustment, go to scene 1 composition. And drag elements comp into the timeline. Also turn on 3D layer. And move little bit closer to camera. And turn down opacity 50%. Now add a text element, so create a new composition, it's called text1. Then select text tool and type any text. And search random fade up effect. So our text look like this. Hit you to show keyframe. And if you want to move keyframe, you can move any time. Now select a rectangle tool. And create a rectangle around our text. Stroke around 5 pixel. Select shape layer and align them center of the composition. Select shape layer. And go to add. Then select Trim Paths, open Trim Path. Then go to First Frame and change N0% and add a keyframe. Then go to 1 second forward and change N100%. Perfect. You can move your text layer a little bit forward. Now go to scene 1 and drag text 1 composition into the timeline. And turn on 3D layer. And move text layer a little bit far away from camera. I am skipping this part little faster, so that you don't have to wait. Now create a new black solid layer. Select pen tool and create a mask like this. Hit double M to show mask property. Change mask at to subtract. Change feather around 150. And opacity around 40%. Now create a new adjustment layer. And search optics compensation effect. Then search radial blur. Change radial blur type spin to zoom. Then go to optics compensation and check reverse lens distortion. And change field of view 150 and add a keyframe, and radial blur amount 50. Then go to few frame forward and change both amount 0. And move this adjustment layer above of all. Now go to 3 and half frame forward. Where are null keyframe pointed? Then select adjustment layer and hit U to show keyframe. And trim the adjustment layer. 
Now duplicate adjustment layer, and move the last keyframe of null layer. Then hit U to show keyframe, swap the keyframe like this. This is for our outer animation. Perfect, it's look good to me. One more thing I am forget, select text comp and search drop shadow. Distance 20. Softness 30. Now select all placeholder and all elements layer. And turn on motion blur. Also turn on main comp motion blur. Our animation has done. Hit zero for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.